Yeah, we're excited to get back on the floor, you know, after um, you know, a challenging uh, trip down south. Um, and uh, just looking forward to uh, cleaning up some of the things that we needed to address after, after this weekend. Absolutely, man. There's always something encouraging in a game. You know, um, I think that our, our ball screen defense was really good. Um, I think that we did a really good job in the first half of that game of protecting the twos and um, not giving up transition baskets um, and blocking out. We didn't give up a single offensive rebound. Uh, in the second half, you know, um, their first seven points were transition and offensive rebounds. So, you know, things that you learn and you watch and just got to be really consistent. You know, we asked them to, um, you know, continue to do that. And, uh, you know, we maybe lost our focus a bit there, but we regained it. Um, we definitely also were down and down almost by, I think, by 20 and found the energy, the commitment to the defense and the offense to execute well. And, um, you know, if we can bottle, you know, those – what, 15 minutes of basketball, you know, for the future, then, um, you know, we'll, we'll be pleased with what we are. So definitely a lot to take from, from the game at FAU. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, this is a journey. You know, if, uh, I would love to tell you that I want to be undefeated. Absolutely. You know, uh, that doesn't, doesn't happen. You, you're going to hit some, some valleys and, and, and some peaks. And, you know, the sign of a team is when you can, you can stay steady. This isn't the first time that we've lost a game. Uh, not the first time that we've lost two in a row. You know, so we've been here before. Um, it's more at stake, of course, because we're in conference play, but uh, definitely a lot to learn. And, you know, myself as the, the leader of the group, I got to make sure that, you know, I inject them with constructive criticism, you know, positive encouragement, and, um, you know, keep letting them know that this is a good team. It's just, you know, you just lost the game. Definitely. You know, um, success breeds success, you know, and uh, it breeds confidence. So in, in being there and knowing that these are the teams that are considered to be the better teams in the league and knowing that you can go, you know, toe to toe with them on the road on top of that um, is definitely something that, um, you know, we'll let the guys know that, hey, man, we're we're good enough to do this. Um, we just got to just got to make fewer mistakes. You know, I mean, th th all those games came down to you know, a mistake or two. And to be honest, that's going to be the history of this conference, you know, right now like this. When we look back at this season, a lot of games are going to be won by one, two, three possessions. This is a really good league, you know, a lot of really good players, good coaches, and good teams. You know, offensively, you know, Henson is one of the – he's, he's a really good just basketball offensive mind, you know. So there's going to be a lot of ball movement. Um, you're going to have to go guard one side of the floor and the second side of the floor and then a ball screen and then another ball screen. So you've got to be really, really continuous, you know. Um, they're going to run their offense hard. They're going to run it with tremendous pace. And we've got to make sure that we keep up the pace and we've got to get ahead of everything that they do. It's a really good offensive team. Um, so we just got to make sure that we control what we can control. You know, this league, I'll tell you, anybody can beat anybody. So um, I think the one thing that was learned this weekend is you got to show up every day. You, you can't look at what's on paper. No, absolutely. Honestly, our, our student section has been awesome. Our fans have been great. Um, you know, I, I watched that last UTSA game, and it was a reminder of, of how – Oh, you know, deflating an empty arena is. So, um, and this season, I feel like a large part of our success has to do a lot with the level of energy that's in this building from our students. They have been phenomenal, and I'm, I'm really thankful for that.